Hi friends, now we are continuing to work with like you know, the steps in process creation in Blueprism RPA. If you really like this video, you please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends. Thank you. So here all processes built in Blueprism must start with like a Blueprism process template. So these templates are available under the portal.blueprism.com. But what are the benefits to use like you know, uh, templates? First one is So why we use the question is so why we have to use like a process template the first one is it saves time and the process templates have already been started in building your process logic first and make support easier by using process templates everyone's processes looks the same making them easier to understand in further videos we are going to see in detail about uh, what are those templates like there are seven templates that are available in portal.blueprism.com. One is uh, IPA, Initial Process Analysis Template, nice Process Definition Document like PDD, and um, FRQ like you know, Functional Requirement Questionnaire Templates, Solution Design Document like a SDD, and OID like you know, Operational Impact Document Template, and uh, <laughs> So process design instructions and then finally like you know, PDI and ODI like you know, object design instructions. So here uh, to ensure like best practice the process templates will already contain like all work queues, exception handling and stop, and stop decision logic like an outline uh, like information. And in our organization might want to expand the standard process template. So provided by Blueprism to add in like a you know, common auditing or credentials logic that is to be used for like a solutions because of the importance of always using a process template the first thing to do when start to starting to build a new process is to open a process template and use the save as like a menu option and the same and save the template as the name of the new process we want to create and the step three like how to implement implement like a process design so once we save a copy of the template as your new process uh, can start amending it to your process logic in accordance to the peer review like a pdi like a process like a process design instruction design document so here it explains many of the best practices should be implemented in our processes and which are enforced by your use of a, like a process template and for working example of a process that implements all these features should import and review the like a create code process and the register as part of the life cycle validation like a training solution and here we'll see the process main page should be a simple high level flow diagram and uses like a sub pages on the right of the main page of a process and with most of the process logic like placed with sub pages and what are the like standard sub pages are like startups is startup is like one standard sub page and launches and locks into an application and close down is a sub page locks out an existing application and next is populated queue is another sub page loads the work from a source into blue prism work queue and next work pages are like multiple work sub pages for navigating and updating the like systems so why we have to look at sub pages it's very easy to like you know it's, it's very easier to to quickly understand what a process does just by looking at like a main page okay and please uh, stay with us like uh, for more videos on process creation thank you for watching and thank you